Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the important topics which are going to come in your physiology exam. Now these topics have been compiled after looking at the question paper of various universities but still some question might be there which uh, may come out of these topics. So the best way is that you attend the classes and you note down the topics which are being covered in your college but still we can have an overall idea that uh, which topics might come. So first of all I would like to say that from this year in the first uh, year exams the clinical aspect will be predominant. So the best way to study a topic is by looking at its clinical aspect. For example if you are reading about any organ suppose pituitary or adrenal glands the hormones then you also read what will be the symptoms or if the hormones increase or decrease you correlate and then you read because the question will come in the form of a clinical case and you will have to answer accordingly okay so whatever topics i am going to give today please read them with a clinical point of view so that if any clinical question come you can answer and if a direct short note comes you can very well write it okay so this is the part one of the physiology important topic videos so the first unit is general physiology. So in general physiology, which topics uh, are there? So the first topic is structure of cell, genes and protein synthesis, transport across cell membrane and the transport proteins involved. Okay, so these are the basic topics which are present in general physiology. Now among these, what are of utmost importance? So in structure of cell, biological membranes, the cell membrane, the structure of the cell membrane might be asked in your examination as it is important. Okay, and its function, what functions it plays in the human body. Then the next chapter is uh, uh, transport across cell membrane. So transport across cell membrane, all the transport proteins, uh, channels, gates, porins, all that might be asked. Then in that only there is primary active transport, secondary active transport, facilitated diffusion. So on all these you can get a short note to write in your examination. Along with this there is donance equilibrium that might be asked, short note might be given. And there can be question on colloidal osmotic pressure, what will happen if the osmotic pressure decreases and from that you can get a question on edema, a long question might be there, what are the causes of edema, uh, what are the uh, equations involved, what are the pressures inside the artery, outside the artery, oncotic pressure, all that. So basically these are the important topics, your cell membrane, transport across cell membrane, the transport proteins which are involved, ion channels etc and then edema that is the most important topic. So these are the few important topics from your general physiology. Now coming to the second unit. So the second unit is nerve muscle physiology. So the nerve muscle physiology unit is very important because this is the first time when you are reading nerve muscle in such great details. You might have read in class 12 but this time many new things are added in it. Okay. So the important topics are number one saltatory conduction. So in the nerve saltatory conduction is there in the myelinated nerve that might be asked a short note. Neuromuscular junction and transmission. This is a very important question you, you may get as a flow chart. So when you get the question write it in the form of a flow chart. Then there is difference between white and red muscle, then what is neuron, what is uh, neuroglia, so different types of cells that make up the nervous system, you need to know about that. Then excitation contraction coupling, in the nerve muscle chapter, excitation contraction coupling is what co means uh, links the nerve to the muscle, so that is important. Then there is refractory period, then optimum length, then withdrawal reflex resting membrane potential these are very means common topics which are asked in the exam along with that receptor potential and action potential definition of an action potential its graph for neurons for muscles you need to know that then next is a motor unit diagram of a motor unit short note that can come then uh, some reasoning questions like why hypocalcemia causes titani so you need to know the physiology what happens due to which it causes uh, next there can be classification of nerve fibers but this is uh, means uh, dealt in more detail in the sensory chapter in the nervous system not here so you need not remember here then there is myasthenia gravis very important disease related to neuromuscular junction then oxygen depth what happens why is it there then uh, there is effect of sodium and potassium on membrane potential. This is a very common viva question which is asked by teachers that what will happen if there is hyponatremia, hypernatremia, hypokalemia, hyperkalemia. So these are the uh, important topics for this chapter and I think most of the topics are covered in these only. So if you read these topics, you will cover the entire unit. 
So now coming to the third unit. So the third unit is hematology. So hematology in first year you need to know very basic level of hematology and that also mostly for your viva in the practicals. You have separate hematology practical for that you need to know. In the theory exam very few topics come from hematology. So the important topics from this unit are number one erythropoiesis. You might be asked to write a short note so you draw the flow chart. In all the books a flow chart is given on erythropoiesis. Okay so you draw that. Next is what is bleeding time. What is clotting time? Definition of anemia. Very, very important. The WHO definition, it is asked everywhere in first year, second year, final year, everywhere this definition is asked. So you need to know that. Next is different clotting pathways, intrinsic and extrinsic. Uh, the flow chart is given. So whenever it comes in the exam, you draw a line in the center of the page. On one side, you draw extrinsic, one side intrinsic and you combine them together for the common pathway. Okay. Do like that only very means uh, in a very short uh, and brief manner you can depict the pathways. Next is uh, what are platelets, what are their functions. Then next you can get a question on uh, difference between humoral immunity and your cellular immunity. Then a question can be there on different types of lymphocyte, T lymphocyte, B lymphocyte, short notes. So you need to know what are their functions. Uh, means uh, how they uh, give uh, Im provide immunity to the body. So you need to know that. Next is your blood group. Blood group is important for your viva also. What are the different types of blood group? Who can donate to which blood group? So you might be asked about blood group matching. Next uh, is your erythroblastosis fetalis. So this is related to RH negativity. And this is a common question uh, asked in uh, reasoning format that what precaution should be taken during the second pregnancy like that a question might be asked. Next is uh, what are anticoagulants? Name some anticoagulants. Then uh, aspirin. This you will read in detail in pharmacology in the second year but still in the first year sometimes this question is asked that uh, why does low dose aspirin acts as a means prevent platelet aggregation so you need to know this. Next is uh, why is phototherapy used to treat physiological jaundice so this is related to hemolysis that's why it is put in this unit. So these are some of the questions uh, which are important in hematology. Next coming to the fourth unit. So the fourth unit is respiration. So in respiration, what are the important topics? First is dead space. So you need to know about physiological dead space. You might be asked question. Next is respiratory distress syndrome of the infant. Next topic is surfactant. What are surfactant? Then uh, you need to know about oxygen transport and carbon dioxide transport across the cells. So for that graphs are also given, diagrams are also given in the book. You need to look at that. Next is uh, Bohr and Haldane effect. This is quite confusing. So you read the effects well because this is asked frequently. Next is your compliance, the graph related to compliance where it has been depicted. Then uh, neural and chemical regulation of respiration. This can come as a long question also. Okay, so you prepare this like a long question. Next is what is Valsalva maneuver, chain strokes breathing, Effects of exercise on respiration. This is a very practical, means a, a commonly asked question in practical also. In human physiology, you might be asked this question. So next is emphysema, that is a pathology, you need to know about that. Then hypoxia, how hypoxia stimulates respiration, what happens there. Next is oxygen therapy in hypoxia, how oxygen therapy is useful. So basically you need to read everything about hypoxia because this is a clinical aspect uh, which is related. Uh, to this unit respiration. Next is chloride shift and decompression sickness. As I told hypoxia stimulates respiration and uh, decompression sickness uh, is something related to when you go at high pressure. Okay, So their solubility of the uh, um, gases increases in your blood. So due to that problems occur when you return back to the surface. So that is decompression sickness. So these are the topics which are important from respiration unit. Okay, So the fifth unit is uh, gastrointestinal tract. So the important topics are uh, as follows which I am saying. First is regulation and secretion of bile. The next is gastric mucosal protective barrier. So there are certain factors which protect the mucosa from acid and all the food items which we take. So you need to know about that. Then peristalsis, how it is regulated, which cells are involved. Then deglutition reflex, enterohepatic circulation. So it is very important in uh, if you get a question from liver, you will definitely get this enterohepatic circulation. Then auxentic cells, their role in uh, uh, digestion. Then uh, dumping syndrome and total gastrectomy. So this is an applied aspect. So if you'll read about total gastrectomy, that in that this is a clinical applied point. So you might be asked about this. Then next is phases of gastric secretion. Then 
uh, why gastric mucosa is not auto digested a question might be asked in reasoning then uh, regulation of gastric acid secretion that question might be asked then abdominal operation leading to paralytic ileus why does an uh, abdominal surgery lead to paralytic ileus then next is hy why does hypochlorhydria produces iron deficiency anemia these are reasoning questions then what is defecation reflex then what is gastrin what is its role in digestion process and uh, then uh, why is fat present in excess in stool in pancreatic insufficiency and obstructive jaundice so from this unit as you have seen many reasoning question they can come from all units but from this unit many reasoning question might be asked so these are the applied aspects otherwise jaundice is very very important liver intrahepatic circulation and digestion all the cells involved all the processes and acid secretion factors regulating it uh, basal acid output and all those things are important from this chapter so uh, these were the five units of the physiology subject which we have discussed in the, this video next we are going to come up with part 2 in which we are going to discuss about the rest of the uh, units of physiology and the topics which are important thank you